in lieu of the fact that we're going out of town, I want to know, is getting a sitter for goldfish a thing? Um, no, <laughs> we're going to have to get a goldfish sitter. I, yeah, you, I think you've taken them as far as you can take no, them. No, 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 no. Yeah, man. I think no, they no. got to go to that big old toilet in the sky. Oh, my God. Don't even say that. Do yeah. you know how emotionally invested I am? You are pretty I would, if I was going to. Emotionally, you're financially invested at this point. They get fresh water, dude. They get fresh bottled water. Yeah. These fucking goldfish. Distilled. Yeah. No, wait. If yeah. I was going to sacrifice these fish, I would feed them to the aquatic turtles at the commons. So we'll do that. No. We'll do that before we leave. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Because I want you to be ready for us to go out of town since we're going out of town soon. I want you to know I need to figure out who's going to take care of the goldfish. I asked my mom. She was like, yeah, but you're going to drive a goldfish tank all the way over there? It doesn't make any sense. And I was like, oh, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Gretchen and Drew. I'm going to take the goldfish five houses no, down. There you go. And I'm going to ask them. Are you cool with it? Like, yeah. leave it on your kitchen counter, just like we do, <laughs> yeah. and change its water. Yeah. We'll drop off the distilled water. But it better not die. They better not they. die. It better, they better not, not it. Die. They. One of them better than not They both. Neither of them. Yeah. Why would they? We're yeah. not leaving them with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They'd be dead. Welcome, dirties, to a new episode of Till the Dirt with Tommy and MJ. My husband is Tommy Fight. I'm Mercedes Javid. And the two of us met, got married, have a baby, and moved to the suburbs. And we're here to tell you our story. Kismet. Very twisted um, t- tale of toiled and w- yeah. whatever. But our story is their story, I promise. You know? Yeah. Laugh with us. Laugh at us. Yeah. Cry with us. Yeah. So what do you got this My week? My husband's a big crier. What, what do you got this week, Mama Sita? <laughs> mm. um, when you go out of town, do you feel like all of a sudden you're way busier because you're going out of town? Yes, because you have your regular rigmarole that you have the day-to-day shit, minutia that you have to get done anyway. Right. And now you have the other things that you have to get done before you get out of town. Right. And then the things that... Maybe you could back burner it. You can't back burner it because you're going to be, you have to get everything done because you're going to be gone the next week too. You know what I mean? So it's like you have to right. get done the things you need to get done this week, the things you get need to get done next week that's for here, yes. for where you live. Like if you're and going. And then you got to get good things, you know, get done the things to travel. And yes. then like you said, we have two shows. We got a real full dance card. It's not just the shows. We got two shows. Um, Hannah Burner's wedding. Yeah, I'm having Des, a, I have a Des dinner Bishop. with uh, you know the peak with the with the, my partners with Peak Seven. Uh, it's you know gonna be the first time we've all been in the room without COVID. Uh, Am I going to that dinner? No. Oh, thank no, God. You don't Just go kidding, you guys. You're uh, gonna have like Hannah a Hannah Burner's wedding. You're to Desi Bishop. She's not marrying Hannah herself. Hannah Burner's wedding, guys. like you said. I don't know Hannah Burner. But <laughs> whatever. My wife was so excited. We're it's going the Hamptons, and she was juiced. And you guys and we gotta go to a fucking Met game. We're going oh, to a yeah. Met game. And we're yeah. gonna see our family. We're going That's to a big. Met game. Yes, obviously. I mean huge. Obviously. Okay, but here's the thing. You just said what was bothering me the most. When you're going out of town, you have to take care of everything, but you also have to do travel preparation. Like, we're not gonna be here, therefore, who's gonna do this? Who's gonna do that? What about the trash cans? Or you know, have a house sitter? Are you gonna go like I'm going to get eyelashes. I haven't gotten eyelashes in months. You poor thing. Right? I'm going to, like, I have to line up my outfits. I have to know exactly what I'm going to wear. You guys, we're going to go out of town for a week. So it's like I need 7 to 14 outfits. (laughs) I think I can change. It used to be 14 outfits, like the day one and the night one. But you're a mother now. Now I can wear just one outfit the whole day. Look at you. Like, 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 it's you. life-changing. You the growth. One dope outfit per day. Yeah, look at you. Look if at I, you. if I, if it's like a wild a hair, woman. I am. You're like a new woman. New and improved, yeah, absolutely. baby. So the, the thing is, my question is, are you a better version of yourself because you're getting ready to go out of town and you have to be like uber productive? No. Like, and can you maintain that? If you're a better version of yourself... Can you maintain that every day, all year round? 
Well, I think it depends a lot on how happy you are with your day-to-day minutia because if you're able to get through your day-to-day with a smile on your face, then I don't think it changes, you, you know, the fact that you're getting out of town doesn't change anything. But if you're someone that, you know, you get caught up and you're like, you're, you're looking through for the, you know, for the weekend on a Wednesday because you're already over it, then knowing that you're getting out of town, uh, you know, it, it gives you a nice kick in the ass. And we'd we be surprised what we're all able to accomplish if we're excited and fired up. You know what I mean? I have yet to meet a person who just says, oh, um, am I going to the airport? I think, I, wait, should I call an Uber? Wait, where's my suitcase? No, I feel like even the most scraggly single guy with no dog and no nothing still needs to, like, do his laundry, find out if his shit's back from the dry cleaning. Like, he... Anyone is yeah. there anyone out there that doesn't have that's two things. a you lot can... to do? Yeah. Two things: dry cleaning and it requires and a drop off, a pickup, dry cleaning, washer dryer. It's a whole cycle. Okay, counting your socks. Don't okay. you all of a sudden? Let me ask you this, Tommy. Fight. Do you like to go out of town with old socks or new socks? Honestly, yeah. What I used to always do was I would go out of town with no socks or underwear or <laughs> T-shirts, and I would go right to... Uh, That's the worst. I would Because I, I didn't want to take up the room in the bag. Right to what? I would go right to, like, the place you could get it. What if you're Target. going to Aspen? No. Where do you go? I was, I was going to the beaches. I was going to places like Cancun or, you know, Florida, where there's a Target. There's a place you could go to buy T-shirts. You must be a good time. Like, okay, guys, let's go to hit the hotel. Let's hit the thing. No, we got to hit no, the I'm malls. No, get fucking underwear, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some socks, going to get some underwear. If I did that to you, you would kill me. Uh, no, because yeah. I know what I want to get. I'm, get. I'm in and I'm out. You oh. would go shopping. Yeah. Like, you would turn it into shopping. That's not, I'm not looking to go fucking shopping. Mm. I'm looking to go get what I need, mm. and then I'm done. And then so, I most times wouldn't, wouldn't bring that stuff back with me. Oh. I would just leave it. You just leave it in the dirty hotel right room? In the street. With right the... in the street. I would just throw it. Yeah. yeah. I'm done with this shirt. I'm done. <laughs> and I just throw it in the street. No, I know what you would do. I'd sign it first. That's what I'd I was thinking. I'd sign it and I'd throw it in the street. You would. You'd be like. Yeah, say this one day, kid. You're going to be you're gonna be rich. <laughs> Sorry you're I didn't rich. know your name. Before yeah. I slept with you yeah. and snuck out. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't know if the ghost. Toya? We have a ghost today as a guest. Our first guest is a ghost. Ladies we had one last week. A ghost? Yes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, so now do you do that? No. You're not going shopping. Well, you've no, never no, done no, that. No, no, you've no, In the seven years no, I've known you, you've never no, done that. No, no. Well, that's not true. It'd be when I went to surprise you. In Belize, okay, I bought all my underwear at the H and M. No, at the oh, that's too skinny fit. Well, yeah, no, I bought them. You're right. I got them. Technically, Macy's you're right. Nice. I got them here. I didn't get them there. Right. Normally, I get them there. I didn't. This time, I got all my underwear and shit, and I brought them here, and then I opened them there, and I more or less left them there. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's not really underwear. That's uh, underwear. Uh, you know, underwear I keep. <laughs> it's more like the the socks and the t-shirts and the undershirts. You're not going to go get your jeans and your no, outerwear. No, 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 no. But you do need to for New York. You did you did do that one thing that one time where that you, one thing that one time. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, Tommy fight goes to New York City and we go home to visit family, and he's like, "Well, I don't think I have." a winter coat anymore. I've lived in LA for like how many years? So we went to the Macy's men's store at the Beverly Center and it's like a whole bottom of the whole entire Beverly Center. So it's like a megaplex for men's anything that you want. Right, Tom? Yeah. And we found him this really nice Marciano um, pea coat, but then it was also like suede and it had shearling on the inside. It was really nice. So what did you do, Tommy? And it was it was it's uh, it was a very nice discount on it too. Like we oh, scored that because we went shopping after Christmas. Yeah, we scored that. Yeah, it was and like plus the, it's you don't need it here. You know what I mean? Like like 
if that doesn't sell right away in winter, then it's never going to sell out here. You're saying in L.A., it's it's hard to sell winter clothes. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. In New yes. York, it never would have made it to it sale. It never would have made it that. Exactly. Right. right. Perfect. Yeah, you're really smart. We, we, we're, we're simpatico, babe. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. So we go and we get you this really nice coat, and then you take it home. to Like, you wear it, obviously, to yes. home. And then what did you have Terry Maguire do? Ship it back? You left it there. I left it there. So you left it there, and I was like, shouldn't you just leave it there? Because then the only time you're ever going to wear it again is while you're there. Yeah. So Terry has to spend God knows what, which we should have reimbursed her for that. (laughs) You guys, like, this is what, like, this time when we go, we need to get her some nice things for her and Richie. So, like, it's in advance. No, you just gestures, like, you know, you do things, nice things, like... Dinners or like I sent them on a cruise. I do nice things. What was that like in nineteen eighty (laughs) six? You did one nice thing for them. (laughs) Like you I sent them on a cruise one time. Like after you lived there for six years. (laughs) Fucking rent free and they fed you and gave you love. Um no. So then you guys, if you live in LA and you have a home like we do in New York because of our my in-laws, then all you have to do is leave that winter coat, and the only thing you do is when you come home from the airport, you're going to be cold, but who cares? You're getting off a plane. Your body is hot. You've just been in a confined space for six hours. You just make it to the house without a heavy jacket, and then you go back into your, you know, it's like we're going home to our, like, this is my mother-in-law and father-in-law. They're amazing. I'm excited. Yeah, no, I, I still have, I st- actually still have some shit at the house, you know? Uh, like what? All these years later. No, just like a, you know, a piece of clothing or something that I ain't Like take. a catcher's glove? No, no. No? No. I was out of that phase when, you know, I wasn't playing baseball anymore. I got kicked off my team. Well, there's a, oh boy, you guys, he is... Uncorking the Peak 7 Vodka. He is pouring himself. I mean, I know it's delicious, Tom, but it is nighttime, and I don't know who's going to deal with you tonight because it's going to be me. It's delicious. So he just poured himself, you guys, a full glass of vodka with ice cubes. To the good life. Whoa. Mom!